my friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is linda and i'm filming this video from Lagos, nigeria so in case you all don't know i have a nine to five job i work as an administrative assistant in some sort of a multinational company but then i'm an outsourced staff i'm not a direct employee of the particular organization that i work for i am outsourced from another outsourcing firm but i work work for this large organization so you see large some sort of semi-medium organization something like that so that is just to give you a little background on why i'm actually talking about this topic in question the great resignation yes i've been seeing lots of videos about how this great resignation is happening all over in the us in the uk and in so many other countries i've been seeing lots of people that have been resigning from their jobs and honestly like i've actually been watching lots of videos on of people who have recently resigned from their jobs even without having savings or any backup plan like this particular lady i <laughs> discovered recently her name is chimdi and i i love her videos and i've just been following her ever after since i saw her video on how she resigned from her job without without having any savings or any backup plan at all and i found it really inspiring and i just began to wonder like how why would people leave their jobs where the jobs may have provided them provided them some sort of um security job security or even the hope of like you know advancing to higher roles why are people still leaving their jobs so guys if you want to hear all of the reasons why i think the great resignation is going to be happening in the next few months on a very large scale on the african continent particularly in nigeria if you want to hear all of the reasons why i think it's going to be happening please keep on watching the video and please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please you have to support me like we are trying to grow this channel also turn on the post, post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads so guys without further ado let's get right into this video One of the first major reasons why I think lots of people have just had enough of their jobs is after the whole pandemic thing occurred and people had to stay in their homes, they didn't have to start hustling and bustling every day to get to the office and come back home and also go through that the following day. People, people sort of saw that the old way of life wasn't really sustainable it wasn't really the best for them it wasn't making them live their life to, like to the best they're not they were not living their life to, the, to their fullest potential they were not really in fact for me personally i knew that that way of life was just not sustainable like i don't see myself doing my doing that for a very long time because man i'm just i didn't come i didn't come i didn't come to to this planet i didn't come to earth to walk and die. I didn't come here to walk and die. So definitely I knew that the old way of walking was just not sustainable for me. Having to leave my house every morning, drive down to one office, stay there until probably whatever hour when whenever I finish my work and then have to drive myself back home and then do that over and over again for like five days in a week. When the pandemic thing happened, people now saw that okay companies are actually able to allow their employees work from home because you do all of the things that you have to go down to the office to do from the comfort of your home so then why then do companies enforce that employees have to resume in the office and work in the office except you are doing a role like let's say a security guard a cleaner or you are a customer care representative and these this customer care representative are, representatives are able to even work online so except you are doing roles that are very critical to like you know the off like the physical office then i think organizations don't need to enforce their employees coming back to the office and in cases where their employees have actually tasted what it's like to work from home and then now they are, they are um their organizations are trying to force them to come back to working in the office this alone is enough trigger that for once be thinking about an exit plan or an, an exit strategy or just finding a way to carve out a different niche for the person so the person doesn't have to go through the stress of having to go to an office monday to friday this is definitely <laughs> this having to having to go back to the office to work from the office 
is like the number one reason why people want to quit their jobs and that's one of the reasons why people are quitting their jobs because most people would rather just work remotely and if organizations are not willing to consider having employees work from home remotely then definitely they'll be leaving they'll be losing more and more employees because you can't you can't have someone let's say now you just tasted this very delicious jello fries when you, you know you've eaten jello fries that's as sweet as that you always want to go back and eat that jello fries you always want to taste it and in a situation whereby you've you've, you've put this thing in this person's mouth, the person has tasted it and said, I mean, this thing is really, really nice, it's good for me. And then you now want to pull out that rice from the person's mouth. Of course, the person might not react to it very well. So, hmm, organizations need to really find a way to allow employees work from home. So long as they are still delivering on their tax. They are not slacking, they are not um, doing stuff, they are delivering all of what they are, they are delivering all their deliverables at the right time, then like I think they should just allow employees to have that freedom to choose to either work in the office or work from home. One reason why people are resigning from their jobs is it could be that these people have a, a lot of workload. Let's imagine a situation whereby you are in a department, and that department, lots of them, there are very few employees there, and then one person could be doing like two people's role or three people's role. In a case like that, like on a daily basis, imagine a situation where you are doing so much. Everybody is calling you, do this, do that, or the workload on you is just so much. Definitely, you're going to start considering leaving that job. So, if people are overworked, it's definitely going to trigger them to want to consider leaving the job because in a situation whereby you on a daily basis you have been overworked each and every blessed day definitely at the point you're just going to get fed up of the whole thing like why why do i have to do this very monotonous tax on a day-to-day -day basis like it's just going to keep on stressing you out and i don't know you're going to definitely consider resigning because men as i said before most of us know very well that we did not come here to slave away. Another reason why people are actually considering resigning from their jobs or actually resigning from their jobs is because they have to work for very long hours. So imagine a situation whereby on a global on a global scale, people tend to say, "Okay, it's a nine to five job." But in the Nigerian environment, it's a, it's a different ball game altogether because people don't work nine to five in Nigeria. Most organizations have their employees working over time, and the thing is, they might tell you, oh, they will definitely state it in your offer letter that there is, that there, there is no overtime pays. But by the time you now realize that, okay, you have so much workload to do and you have to deliver on the workload that they've given you to do, you now find that whether you like it or not, you have to work overtime. So you, so they will tell you, okay, it's a 9 to 5 job, but it's not actually 9 to 5 because in most cases, people tend to resume working from 7 a.m. Some people resume working at 6.30, some people resume working at 8 o'clock or 8.30. And then you might have to work and work and work until it's probably around 9 p.m. in the morning. So you're actually giving this organization more hours of your day. So the remaining hours you have left is probably just to sleep, wake up, dress up, and get back to work again. If organizations keep on overworking their employees for very long hours of time and they don't even check to ensure that there's a policy that states that people are not having to work for very long periods of time, like they need to actually put checks and balances in place such that people are stopped from being from people are stopped from overworking. And you you would even see a, phenom a phenomenon whereby even on the weekends, some employees are still working on the weekend just to make sure that they, they meet up with their with it, with their tax. In a situation where things are not happening, then definitely you should know that there is need for more people. Because if you have to work weekends just to catch up with all of the workload, just to, just to try and finish up your workload, then definitely it means that you're doing so much. So having to work for long hours, even work over time, without getting over time pays is another reason why people are actually leaving their jobs. The fourth reason why people are leaving their jobs is the fact that the salaries are very poor. Yes, guys. The thing is, um, because in Nigeria here, the population here is very high, not just in Nigeria, on the African continent, in Nigeria as a case study, you then see that employers feel that, okay, there, there is a lot of, there are lots of people who are graduating from school on a yearly basis so for that reason because you feel that there are lots of people graduating from school on a yearly basis there would always be a huge supply of people who are looking for job opportunities and the um, employment markets so for that reason they can afford to pay their their employees if a low salary 
or what they tend to do is they just compare the average salary range in most organizations and tend to pay um within the range that sister companies tend to do by sister company i mean let's say the organization in question is a production company they're going to compare the salaries that are being paid by other production companies just to ensure that they're not underpaying their employees and they're also not overpaying their employees just find that there's like a salary salary ceiling and some companies tend to try to make it such that okay they just made their salary slightly higher so that their salary um structure or scale is more attractive attractive compared to that of their competitors so that just makes it look like okay they are the employers of choice because they tend to pay their employees much better than their comp competitors do forgetting that okay as much as you may be thinking that you are paying your employees slightly higher that your employee employee that you're paying slight, slightly higher might be doing the role of two or three people so at the end of the day, it, it's still cheap labor because you're getting one person to do the work that two other people should be doing. And you think you're paying the person more. Meanwhile, you're actually paying the person less because the person is doing like two or three people's role and getting the salary of probably just one person with just a little extra when you compare it to the price range of other, other organizations within the same industry at all. The fifth reasons why people are going to be resigning or actually resigning from their job is because the work environment is very toxic. Yes, some of us have, um, might have um, supervisors or managers or um, executives that might just be micromanaging, or, micromanaging or some of us might have bosses that actually threaten us or even like, you know, um, shout or do all sorts of stuff to us. And it gets to a point where you just have to feel like, okay, for how long are, are, are you willing to go through all of this? Or for how long are you willing to endure being in a toxic work environment where honestly, you couldn't really, you probably are not just very um, comfortable with the whole situation. They just, well, because you have to, um, put food on your table. You just want to be able to pay your bills to just keep on enduring that but Ever since this global pandemic thing happened people have actually realized that they don't have to Like life is short. You can die at any point in time and you don't have to live your life in fear of oh If I lose my job, how, am I, how will I be able to pay my bills? People are not able to realize that okay, there are other things they could do they could actually choose to protect their mental health, pr protect their sanity by just living a very um, toxic work environment and just um, being, in, being at a place where they feel more at peace and more comfortable instead of having to work in an office where the work environment is just very toxic and not good for anyone's mental health or mental health or just physical health and, and <laughs> the rest of it. The sixth reason for the great resignation is because of the huge pay disparity between managers and um, um, entry level rules slash mid level rules or advanced level rules. Because if you look at it, in most organizations, you'll see that a driver might be any 50,000 naira, while um, somebody like an analyst might just be earning somewhere around, um, let's say, um, 900,000 Naira, while a manager might be earning somewhere around, let's say, um, 4 million Naira, while a director could be earning, or a, um, an executive could just be earning something around, let's say, 7 million Naira or 8 million Naira. So you look at how much this, like this, you see how um, huge the gap is between the, eight, the wage disparity. And let's look at the case of Nigeria with our politicians. These politicians <laughs> earn as much as 50 million naira on a monthly basis. And the minimum wage is actually, is it 30,000 naira, 50,000 naira, somewhere around that range. So you now find that there's a huge wage disparity between people that are up there and people that are down there. So it's more like you're not causing these people that are down there to have to struggle so hard to just try to like, you know, climb up that corporate ladder. And... It takes a whole lot for one to have to for one to grow on in that corporate ladder because it takes a lot of you need to know how to do office politics, you need to know how to you need to um go for trainings, you need to pay for trainings, you need to always make sure your boss is happy with you. If your supervisors are or your boss is not happy with you, there's a limit on how you in fact you will not be able to grow in that on that road. It's more like you'll be stuck there. So those are the bottom part have to struggle so so hard just to make sure they get up there. And the situation whereby you don't have somebody that is up there that is trying to pull you up. You might be down there for a very very long time so that wage disparity and all of the struggle struggles and hard work it takes to get up there is another reason why people are just sick of the whole 
nine to five career path thing because if you're looking at the fact that okay um, com the company might be pro promising you career advancement let's look at people like me that are contract staffs for most people that are contract staff or outsourced there's really no much room for that um growth because you just thought okay you're contract staff or you're just stuck on this show so what you're going to do and this is the only thing you're going to do there's no room for you to grow and in a situation whereby you are an outsourced staff why would you then want to be taking up so much work when you know that okay there's no room for you to grow and then in the case of like okay you're even doing so much so you might not really be appreciated or they might just see it like okay it's your job now so why should we be thanking you or whatever even if they know that you might be going out of your way to do certain things to to get the job done they might still just not appreciate you so when you look at that when you just see the, the huge disparity between the wages knowing fully well that you put in a lot of hours and you put in a lot of time and effort to make sure you, you do your job well and there's no appreciation for it definitely you want to get out of that system seventh reason why a lot of employees are actually considering leaving their jobs or are actually leaving their jobs is the fact that ever since the pandemic the pandemic happened and organizations have had their employees return to work some of these organizations now have to have their employees do certain tests just to ensure that they are not um infected with the virus just to ensure that the work environment is safe some organizations are beginning to mandate that the employees have taken the juice and in the situation whereby these employees are not willing to take the juice then of course they already know that men they have to be planning their exit strategy because if the if the organization eventually mandates it that okay all of our employees have to have taken this juice then it's more like once they mandate it, you have to resign and leave the job because you're probably not interested in taking it. You just don't want to have to do something that is probably against your will. For whatever reasons whatsoever, you can choose to trust government, you can choose to trust science, you can choose to trust whatever information that they said is good for you. But some people will just not want to follow um, the general narrative because they just don't want to. And in a, situation, in a situation whereby you don't want to follow what it is that is being mandated, then of course you just have to find your way out of that situation yeah the eighth reason why people are leaving their jobs is because ever since the whole pandemic thing the global pandemic happened people just realized that the old way we've been living like having to work 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 just to end living and after you've put in so much hours on a day on a, on a daily basis you don't even have the energy to even enjoy the life that you're working so hard to 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 be able to afford you just start to realize that man you're actually a wage slave and when you realize that you're actually trapped and you can imagine on the monday morning raining and you just want to just be in bed and cuddle with your partner because you have signed your employment letter you definitely have to show up that monday like there's no excuses so you then realize that because of this job you're actually a slave <laughs> to the job just because you, you no longer have the freedom to choose the days that you don't want to work because of course it's a nine to five working environment it's a structured it's a structured working environment so you cannot choose to say okay i don't want to work on monday i want to work on tuesday you cannot choose when you want to work so for these reasons people are trying to escape the whole wage slavery thing and they're now tending towards like being full-time entrepreneurs some of them are trying to be more like um influencers you wouldn't see possibilities how people are able to earn money online by just posting videos on youtube posting videos on instagram post, posting videos on tiktok and brands are reaching out to this reaching out to you to market for them or just mention their product or use their products in their in your videos and you're able to earn a very good salary like you can literally earn what you are being paid on a monthly basis from just one video you make so knowing that there's a whole lot of possibilities out there then definitely you you then start to consider the facts that okay i think i just have to just take the bull by the horn and just escape this <laughs> this old way of living an old way of you know doing things and just have courage and step out in faith and know that okay as soon as i step out in faith things are going to open up for me and you, you you you're going to be able to live comfortably as an entrepreneur without needing the nine to five salary or wage slave salary or slave salary or whatever it is as <laughs> the ninth reason why lots of people are considering quitting their jobs or the reason why people are just quitting their jobs in nigeria especially the young population is because 
most people have had enough with this country most people have had enough with their various countries in the african continent because just find that our leaders are just the most terrible leaders you don't even feel safe there's, there's a whole lot going on with insecurity the whole boko haram situation knowing fully well that okay the whole in the political sphere there's a whole lot trying to there's a whole lot they're trying to do. There's been talks about, oh, are they trying to Islamize the country? People are looking at what ha just recently happened in Afghanistan. Is Nigeria the next Af Afghanistan? People don't want to be here when, if, when, it, if, when Nigeria eventually turns to the Afghanistan. People are just trying to, like, you know, save their heads. They, 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 want, they want to be able to live a happy and peaceful life in a place where they, in a place where they can feel comfortable without always being scared or looking over their shoulders, like... People don't really feel safe in this country. Like, if I'm not just people, me personally, I really don't feel safe in this country. And I wouldn't even want to even raise children in this country. Because if you're a man in this country, the whole SARS thing, the whole like police harassment is still happening very, very well. Because even recently, like three weeks ago, it happened to my younger brother. They would harass you just because you look like you're doing well. Like, there's, ah, oh, man, there's a whole lot going on in this country. And for that, for those reasons, people the young people actually don't want to stay like me personally i don't want to stay the desires of people to relocate to a different country where they feel safer and their welfare will be better and their children will be able to live a more comfortable and peaceful life is just another reason for the great resignation it's the tenth reason for the great resignation is of course the value of the naira so you can see right now that the exchange rate in nigeria has been going higher and higher on a daily basis the naira is losing value the inflation rates and all of these things just um tends to just turn down to the fact that okay you can you know if you were earning let's say um hundred thousand naira before with the way the naira the value of the naira has gone down so much you can imagine as we had a naira a dollar rate of around 365 naira for one dollar and right now the dollar rate is around um 540 naira or so it's around 540 naira or maybe slightly even higher maybe 545 naira so the dollar naira to dollar rate now is very high so it's more like and nigeria is a, is a country that is highly dependent on imported products so when you're a country that depends so much on imported products and the dollar rate has gone so high so it's more like whatever it is you could buy with your hundred thousand naira before you would only be able to buy less than half of that right now because of how the, the value of the naira has gone low compared to that of the dollar so people's purchasing power has gone down because of how the value of the naira has gone down and the prices of there's a huge inflation the inflation rate right now in nigeria is crazy the prices of goods and services is going up even the smallest item the price has gone up even pure water pure water that you'll be able to buy pure water for 15 naira, five naira before you probably get a satchel of pure water right now for 20 naira so the prices have just have just gone up astronomically so all of these things just make people feel like okay why would i want to be working working and earning salary in naira when you could actually go out there and earn money in the currency that is more stable and organizations are still paying their employees in naira and naira is, has become worthless naira is now like paper so <laughs> all of these things are the reasons why people don't want to work anymore for organizations these are the reasons why people no longer want to work these are the reasons why people are considering relocating these are the reasons why people are considering resigning from their jobs and exploring other options that are more available for them because of course we didn't come here to slave away there's this old there's this other video i've been seeing around youtube which is i don't dream of labor of course most of us have re has realized that our nine to five jobs are so are, is some sort of like a laborious work you just go there you slave away all day and it's the same circle monday to friday monday to friday especially when the environment is now like a toxic one so like for how long would you have to enjoy working in a toxic environment when the pay is not even good the value of the value of the naira is going down there is insecurity there's a lot of ah man like the issues are just so much i definitely see a situation whereby lots of people are going to be resigning from their jobs but then because there is um there is a huge unemployment rate as much as people might be resigning from their job yes a lot of people are going to be taking 
up these roles but the problem is not going to rest on the old employees that are actually still remaining there because now you have to now start taking up more work than they were doing before and when the new people are coming they now have to be training them on teaching them all of what they have to do because of course when, when you when you resign from your job somebody else now has to come and take up that job and it's going to take a while for the person to get onboarded and learn all of what the person all of what you're doing before so this is definitely going to put it a huge pressure on the human resource department in most organizations and it's also going to put pressure on the employees that still remain on their on their old roles because they will not have to be going to the of doing their jobs and also teaching the new people that they're going to employ so guys <laughs> anyways if you are out there if you are watching this video and you're also considering resigning from your job just the way i'm also hoping to resign from my job as soon as possible because definitely man i won't leave nigeria because of the reasons of insecurity and all like i don't plan to raise children in this country i don't plan to i don't want to be at men i can't like <laughs> i can't please so guys these are the reasons why i think the great resignation is going to be happening with very large scale in nigeria and generally on the african continent so if you got value out of this video, if you resonate with any of the points which I mentioned in this video, please let me know in the comment section. Share your thoughts with me also in the comment section. Make sure you like this video. Share with your friends who would also want to just hear my thoughts on the great resignation. And um, if you're an HR person watching this video, I think it's, it's very important that you guys um, try to find a way to... Mm, make the working conditions of employees much better because really after we've been through like the whole global pandemic thing like nobody wants to be slaving away for like nobody nobody wants to be slaving away for any corporation because really some people had to had some custom corporations let their employees go during the pandemic they were not some corporations were not paying their employees salaries so by the time employees have seen that corporations are probably not loyal to them then definitely they will definitely also not be loyal to the organization an employee can just should just carry their bag one day without even saying they're resigning and just jet off because man they've had enough there are just things that could actually be happening on a large scale so if you're an organization and you actually and there's some organizations that also are um they treat their employees well they are able to like you know get their company the organizations that were that were still paying the employees salaries during, during this pandemic they didn't sack anybody or some may have just sacked some employees and just kind of kept it hush hush you know like if you're an organization and you treated your employees badly during the pandemic definitely the ones that you did not fire would end up leaving you to another to another place and if you're an organization that probably had employees that you probably kept on that contract for a very long time or you probably just left them on a particular small role for a very long time just know that as the great resignation starts to happen companies are going to start poaching for these other people that have the experience they are looking for so definitely whether you like it or not if you're not choosing employees well on the wrong on the long run you're going to be on the losing end Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value out of this, make sure you slash, smash the like button, share this video with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. I make videos relating to beauty, entrepreneurship, and vlogs, and I just talk about other things that could also impact your life. So check out my other videos. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Remember, we both have courage of a positive life. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, love.